making worry work for you. Hi guys. Hope you're having a worry-free week. Dot on second thought, I hope you're worried. I hope you're so caught in such a state of anxiety that your insides are all so wound up and you're ready to jump at anyone who gives you the slightest bit of provocation. What the hell is Kevin talking about? Has he finally lost it? Don't worry guys, I haven't and you'd be thanking me for wishing you more worries after you've read this, worry, by and in itself, isn't bad. It's a natural human emotion, a mechanism that allows us to cope with the demands and stresses of modern living. When left to linger, worry leads to stress, stress to sickness, whether physical or psychological, and sickness to death of course, when all these are left unresolved at any stage. I don't believe that one can worry excessively. There is only one way to worry and that's to get worried, but that's a good thing. When you worry, that means something needs your immediate attention. When you start to fret, you know that something needs resolution, be it in your life or in your business. So here are some tips on how to make worry work to your advantage. 1. When you get bothered, breathe. Go to the most relaxing place for you before doing anything else. 2. Once you're settled, determine the cause. Where is all the anxiety coming from? 3. Set an action plan. Outline the steps you'll take to address the worry. Can you do something about it? If working towards a solution is within your control, then, by all means, do so. If not, say it's force of nature like an earthquake, then all you can do is pray about it and hope for the best. 4. Imagine worst-case scenarios if your solution fails, for those where human intervention is possible. This puts the worry in perspective. If you don't stand to lose as much as you initially thought you would, perhaps the worry can take a back seat. 5. Take stock of your alternatives. This puts you in control. More often than not, we simply focus on the worry and forget the various choices that are still in store for us, even if the solution to the cause of the worry fails, worry need not be counterproductive. You've just got to make it work for you. To your success, Kevin Hutto.